there's a cliched saying that it's always darkest before the dawn, right? And that the promise is that the dark night of the soul being in the pit leads to illumination, leads to a tremendous breakthrough. And that in that transformation, there is usually fire. Fire to consume uh, the old and to allow, to prune away what's preventing the new from coming through. But fire is a tricky thing. It cannot be controlled. And in every transformation, there is a little bit of collateral damage. Transformation is necessary, though, for anyone who chooses to know more about the world, about themselves, about human nature. You know, I'm passionately interested in, in human nature and what makes each of us the individual that we are. Um, I'm fascinated with personal stories, you know, um, and, and that's one of the reasons that I created this channel, Body of Truth, is that I wanted to um, kind of talk about those things that people know. They know them. When I have the conversations with people that reach out to me, it's always like, I knew that. I knew that. I don't say anything completely new or foreign, but it is under the surface. It's not what most people lead with. It's what they have to be given a space to allow out. And, and I would offer that it's those same things that you work hard to hide are the things that the world and, and you need more of. You know, I, I, uh, one of my sisters, uh, not a blood sister, but a, a soul sister, is nothing like me. And I so enjoy that we trade these journal entries where we trigger the fuck out of each other because I lead with a pretty feminine energy and she leads with a masculine one. And, and she's a feminine woman, but her energy is masculine. She's extremely strong. She's driven. And in her vocabulary, she's not sentimental. She's not a snuggler. You know, that's just, that's her nature. And she views anyone that speaks of like romance or softness as weak. Now, meanwhile, I think that my feminine nature is my superpower that I have the ability to be soft and hold space, it does not mean I am not strong. It means it's a different kind of strength. And my sister as well, she is a different kind of strength than me. They are just different aspects to the beautiful communal whole. We all have all of these sides within us. It's what comes forward. And it's also what we nurture. Connection, deep connection is incredibly important to me. And so I go out of my way to foster that connection. And my soul sister was saying, like, I just don't feel the need for that. Like her connection is with herself and God. That's absolutely fine. You know, I mean, you can't have a deep connection with someone else without having a deep connection with yourself and God, I would offer. But I do revel in feeling understood and the exchange of these kinds of ideas and you know it is it is my purpose to bring them out into the light to allow the shadow to have it say and to lead with feminine energy i can own that so the lessons are so beautiful when you've got, you know, two very strong personalities that are just so opposite. What we can learn from each other is amazing. But where I started and where I want to end is transformation. It's what you are choosing to bring forth in this life. Maybe you hear the calling. Maybe you just know when you're doing that particular thing, you are more in flow than in any other time and place in your life. However you discover it, be prepared as you dive deeper into it that there will be a reckoning, a necessary reckoning. 
but the but that the reckoning is important for the glory and that will come too but you can't give up and i will see you tomorrow <laughs>